Today I'm going to show you how to get the unique and rare weapon in Fallout 4, Shem Drown Sword. Now to get this weapon, you're going to have to go to the Diamond City Market. From this point, you're going to need to make your way over to Nick Valentine's Detective Agency. Once inside the detective agency, make your way over to this little filing cabinet where there will be an unsolved mystery. Pick it up to start the quest. When you pick the document up, you will get a hollow tape. Go ahead and listen to it. Old Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything to you, but the guy was a coppersmith way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. After listening to the hollow tape, you will need to fast travel to the location, Faneuil Hall. Once you get to this location, you will be attacked by multiple super mutants, so if you cannot fend yourself, I would not recommend doing this quest. Once inside, you will encounter multiple super mutants. As I said before, if you cannot fend yourself off, I would not recommend doing this. In this course, I did encounter two legendaries, one master, multiple brutes, butchers, and just regular super mutants. After making your way through the building, you should go ahead and go to the roof where you will find Marty Bullfinch's dead body. As you can see, the grasshopper is made of 5 gold, 2 glass, and 10 copper. It has a weight of 2 and is worth 451 caps. After you pick up the grasshopper, you will receive a note with the location of Shrim Drown's grave. Go ahead and make your way down from the building safely and follow my path. This will lead you directly to Shrim Drown's grave. From here, all you have to do now is dig up the grave. Inside, you will find the sword and multiple bars of copper, gold, and silver. As you can see, it does an additional radiation damage. It has 37 normal damage, 9 radiation, medium speed, a weight of 3, and a value of 250 caps. So thank you guys for tuning into this episode. If you did enjoy, please make sure to give a thumbs up to let me know to do more tutorials like this. In my opinion, Shrim Drown Sword is a good addition to have, but it is not the best weapon. As always, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time back here on the Trolls Project.